All right, hello everybody. Welcome back again. Um, today we've got our advanced grammar one class, class number four, advanced grammar. Um, so this class is kind of similar to our intermediate grammar class, but we move a little bit faster. And you know, I kind of make the assumption that you have done most of these things before. And so if any of this stuff is new to you, I think you know, going and trying some of the intermediate classes as well would be a really um, good idea. Um, today we are going to, so in the past, last week, we were looking at present tense and uh, present progressive. We did some work with comparing the two of those um, and talking about when we use them. Um, we talked about the spelling um, changes that happen with some of the verbs with the ES and the S, um, pronunciation of some of those sounds. We also discussed the participle spellings with ING and some of the um, irregular forms of that. Um, so now we're moving into, um, we're going to do a little bit of review on that in unit the unit review, one more kind of these two exercises will essentially be kind of wrapping those um, that unit up. And then we're going to jump into our next unit, which is the past tense and past progressive. OK, and at the end, we I will give you guys a very um, complete whole full list of the past tense irregular verbs, because those in English um, are there's a lot of them. Um, you know, so practicing those, and I'd like for you guys to study that list um, in, before our next class. Okay, so that's our general overview of what we're doing today. Let's um, come over to the computer, and we'll get started on doing that unit review. All right. So here we have, let's see, let me go back to our unit review, okay? Um, so what we're doing here is we are working just to finalize and maybe solidify that you guys have learned everything we need to learn here. Okay. And you're kind of testing yourself and your own knowledge. And then if you're, you know, if you don't do well on this, you know, go back and watch some of the videos and practice a little bit more. Okay. So why don't you pause the video right now and go ahead and do these five. And then we will come back together and work on them together. Okay, let's take a look, you guys. So number one, Ekaterina is helping and helps me with my Russian homework every weekend. Is helping or helps me. So when you say something like every weekend, it happens often or regularly. So we're going to use the present tense, helps, okay? Felix is working or works on new project these days. These days also tells me it's happening in a period of time, not exactly right now. So we're going to say he is working, okay? I mean, he's working on it now, but it's over a period of time. Sorry, I kind of said that incorrectly. So is working. Felix is working on a new project these days. Are, do you ever talk on your cell phone while you're driving? Do you ever or are you ever? So are goes with the ing form. Do goes with the present tense. And since this is present, we're going to go with do. I have puppies. That's terrible. I don't understanding what this word means. I don't understand. Remember with the words understand, know, think, feel, um, we don't use the action verb. Okay, uh, excuse me, we use the non-action form. So it's just the regular um, present tense. So we don't really say, I don't understanding. It's not um, grammatically correct. Okay, and then last, we usually go or we go usually. So remember some of those rules about adverbs and where they go in relation to the subject and the verb. We've got the subject adverb and verb so it goes before so we usually go okay all right take another minute you guys pause here and write down these sentence or the the correct form of these so let's do the first one 
Hi, Kim. I blank looking for Jeff Goodale. Is he here? Um, okay. So I am looking for, okay. I am looking for, cause it's happening right now. Okay. So pause and do the rest of them. Okay. Let's do the rest of these together. Hopefully you guys did really well here. I blank. He's here somewhere. I think Okay, that's a non-action verb, so we don't use ing. He blank a cell phone today, so I need to give him a message from Lynn. So I so we don't use with need, we don't say needing. Okay, it's a non-action, so we're gonna use the present tense. So I need to give him a message. He not carry, he isn't carrying. Okay. That's not very clear. Isn't carrying a cell phone today. So I need to give him a message from Lynn. Okay. Kim says, I see him. Again, that's one of those non-action or not the state of verb. So we just say, I, which I wrote the wrong one. I see him. He is standing. She says, I see him, which means right now, right? He is standing next to Kevin. Jeff, hi, call Lynn, okay? She blank, wait for your call right now, which tells me when you say right now that we're gonna use is waiting, okay? That blank serious, can I use your phone? That sounds serious. So that's one of those um, appearance, or um, like, I feel, I think, I sound. So that sounds, so we use it in the present tense and not in the present progressive. And then the last one here, sure, I blank, it's anything serious. She just blank you to buy a new cell phone. <laughs> okay, um, so I don't believe, again, we don't use the progressive tense with believe very often. Uh, or really ever it's anything serious she just wants to you to buy a new cell phone okay um hopefully that was very easy for you guys let's take a look at this bottom part so you're gonna find and correct five mistakes so please go ahead and pause right now and do that Okay, so let's take a look at this together. Um, hi, Lita, how do you do these days? We're all fine. I'm writing to tell you that we're not living in California anymore. Uh, let's say here, we don't live in California anymore. We just moved to Oregon. Also, we expect a baby. We are expecting a baby. We're looking for an interesting name for our daughter. Do you have any ideas? We're looking for an interesting name. That's great. Do you have any ideas? Right now we're thinking about Gabriella because it has good nicknames. For example, Gabby, Brie, and Ella all seem good to us. How are those nicknames? How do those nicknames sound to you? We hope you'll write soon and tell us your news. So we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, we all seem good to us. How do those nicknames? We hope you'll write soon and tell us your news. Um, how are you? Let's see. How do you do these days? How are you? Let's do that. Okay. I think we did this. So this might be another quick review for you. So no big deal if we've done it already. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember, even though I keep such good notes about what we do in class, if we're doing things again. But one thing that is very good to know about, obviously, with learning is that you need repetition and dedication for learning. So, so don't worry about moving, you know, quickly through things. We, you know, more practice means the more you learn and the more it stays in your brain. Um, okay. So I wanted to share with you also um, in my intermediate class, we did, um, let's see, let me just 
move that over here. So many things on my desk. Okay. Okay. So here's what we worked on in my other class and I wanted to share it with you here. So I, we did an exercise where we were talking about doing something new. Okay, so something that I'm doing new is paying attention to or working on my health. Okay, um, so um, things that I usually do is that I usually eat well. Okay, I usually drink lots of water. Let me take a sip now. I usually get enough sleep. Okay. So I've made all of these tenses, the same color down here. This is my, this part here is my paragraph, okay? Okay, so you'll notice here in the present tense when I use these things like things I do normally or often or regularly or just every day, I made this color, this kind of salmon color, okay? So things that I'm doing new, maybe starting just last week, I am now, or newly, I am taking new vitamins, okay? I am working out or I am exercising more. I am paying attention to the stress in my life and I'm trying to reduce, trying to reduce my stress, okay? Um, great. Um, you let me get this under here. Um, okay, let's see. So, the new things that I'm okay, sorry, no, here, this is my paragraph, and then I also wanted you to pay attention to down here. I did some adverbs, okay, not all of them are adverbs of frequency, but some of them are. Um, okay, so this was my paragraph right here. So recently, I have been working on stabilizing my health. Okay, so this tense I underlined because it's the past perfect progressive tense. And while we haven't done that in this class, as an advanced student, you have probably studied that before. Um, so I just highlighted it here for us to take a mental note, okay? So recently, I have been working on stabilizing my health. I usually eat pretty healthy. I eat lots of vegetables and protein. I drink lots of water and take vitamins too. So here, since these are things that I normally do, I have this in the same color, okay? They're all in the present tense because it's something I normally do and it's regular. Uh, but for some reason, I have not been feeling very well, okay? So that's that past perfect progressive tense, <clears throat> excuse me, okay? Um, so that's kind of where I change into the things that I'm trying now. So what, what, what typically happens is I often, so the, here's my adverb, often, I often feel sluggish and tired even after sleeping a full night. So I often, what is, that's one of these adverbs here, Okay, so it's something that indicates how many times I do it, like usually or recently, right? I often or sometimes, I often, remember we said we did the percentages, it's like 75%, 80%, more than half of the time, I feel sluggish. Um, does everybody know what sluggish means? So a slug in English is like a snail without the shell. And how do they move? They move really slowly, um, okay? So we the word sluggish means I move slowly, maybe I'm kind of tired, okay? Maybe my brain is kind of gray and not really clear. I'm not thinking clearly, okay? So I often feel sluggish and tired even after sleeping a full night, okay? So now I move into this, where I'm talking about the present progressive, okay? So I am now, I am working with a few doctors to try and figure out what is going on. But for now, I am trying a little, excuse me, I am trying a lot of different things. 
Okay. Mostly I'm trying to get to bed earlier at night, drink more water and exercise. We live, so back in this present tense, because it's something that happens all the time, right? I live at a high elevation. It means I, I live in the mountains and therefore it's very dry here. So I am usually very thirsty. So I usually am very thirsty. So notice please where I put, um, actually, let me do this and change that to that. Okay. So there's my subject is I, the adverb of frequency, and then my verb. I usually am very thirsty. Also, I really think that stress has played a large role in how I am feeling. And therefore, I am working on reducing the stress in my life. Okay. So those are some present progressive forms there. And then my final sentence is, I hope that with a renewed attention to these aspects of my health, that I will be able to feel better and have more energy for life in general. Okay. So this form here is a future tense and it's the, will be able to be able to is the, is the verb can, right? So I can, we say in the present tense. In the past, I couldn't, right? I can in the present. And in the future, we say be able to. We don't say I will can, okay? We say I will be able to. All right. So if you would like to practice this, you can start with the question, what is something that I am doing that is new, okay? And so something that is new could be studying English or I have a new job or I got a new dog. I don't know. <laughs> and then usually, so then you can kind of say, so now because I'm, I've got something new, I am studying more. Okay. Or I... I am spending more time at my job. This is something new. I am exercising more when I walk with my dog, with my new dog. Okay. So these are things that might be new because your something has changed. Okay. And then you can talk about something that you regularly do. I, you know, I usually sleep until 8 a.m., but now I wake up earlier to study English, okay? I um, often... Um, let's see. I often eat dinner at 6 p.m. And but now with my new job, I eat later because I work later. Okay, so these are things that are changing. Um okay, and let's see, something else about my dog. I how about this? I used to um take a nap. Let's see. I like to sleep. I'm tired today. <laughs> I used to take a nap after lunch, but now I walk my dog after I eat. Okay. So you can see that these are things that are happening now and that are new. Okay. So we can put the color. I think that's this color. And these are things that are regular things but maybe are different okay so we can make that that color see how different those are okay so if you would like to practice with this activity i think it's a really good example so you can start with something that is new okay and um and then write out a couple of just example sentences and then you can combine that into something like this where you're adding all of the sentences together and, and then using some adverbs as well. And if you would like to send that to me, I would love to read it. And, um, and if you have any questions, we could work on it together. Um, 
Okay. All right. If you want to just go ahead and take a screenshot of that, you should do that. Um, okay. So um, our, we're going kind of quickly today, but I know you guys are so smart and you can reach out to me if you have questions. So let's just do a quick um, review on this because hopefully this is a review for you guys um, on the past tense and let's compare it to past progressive. So first of all, um, when we think about, let's see, where are my markers? Oh, there. When we think about when we use these tenses, let's make our little chart, okay? So simple past tense, um, simple past tense. We have a lot of past tenses, but the simple past, okay? We um, are gonna, let's make our little line, okay? This is our time. And this is now, obviously this is the future and this is the past, okay? So simple past is something that happened in the past before today and that happened maybe one time but is now finished, so it's done, okay? So one time in the past and it's not happening anymore. All right. Past progressive um, happened in the past or it started in the past and it ended in the past. So this is now. So it happened, the past progressive was like this. It happened for that pe period of time. So for example, I, and we often use, um, well, well, we'll hang on just a second. <laughs> I was studying Spanish in Peru. Okay. I was studying. Um, oh, I didn't finish this correctly. So I have, so in the black, I've got the, the affirmative. And then in the green, I have the negative. I wasn't studying. Okay. Okay, so maybe you're telling a story about being in Peru and you're like, somebody says, why were you in Peru? Why were you there? And you say, I was studying. So I started studying maybe in 2001 and I stopped studying in 2003, okay? So I started here, I studied and then I stopped. I was studying, okay? Oftentimes when we use this tense, we discuss something that happened here. Like you can say, I was studying in Spanish. I was, excuse me, I was studying Spanish in Peru when I met my husband. Okay, so then you say, I was studying Spanish in Peru when I met my husband. Okay. So this is past progressive, and then this is actually simple past. So you had something happen, start, happen here, something happened in the middle, okay? So I met, dot, 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 that happened when I was studying, okay? So the point here is obviously that we use past progressive to discuss something that started and stopped in the past, okay? I was walking when I saw a bird, okay? So you're talking about something, I was walking, I started walking, I was walking and walking and walking, and then it stopped maybe at the end of an hour, but in the middle, I saw a bird. So the saw is the simple present. Got it? Okay. I think we should all remember that. Um, let's talk about the, the, the negative. So we're going to simply, right, here's our, um, our formula. We've got the past tense of to be. So your subject, past tense of to be. I have this subject past tense of to be, plus the verb study, plus ing, I was studying, okay? When you create the negative, you insert not after here, 
Okay. I wasn't studying Spanish. I wasn't, or I was not. You can say either. To create the, um, the question, you're simply going to change the position of the subject and the form of to be. Were they studying Spanish? Were they studying Spanish? Okay, and then the WH question, when were they studying? Okay, when, so you're taking this were they, you're moving it over and you're using the when here, okay? So that's just the general overview. I think you guys probably know that pretty well. Um, and then the simple past tense, well, how do we form that? In the, in the regular form, we have the verb plus ed, right? And we know, because English is English, <laughs> that we have so many exceptions to that rule. Um, but, and actually study is one of them, because we change the Y to I, and then we add the ED, okay? So I, in the simple past tense, I, we've got the subject, the verb with ED, and then the rest of your sentence. I studied Spanish in Peru. To make it negative, we use did not, okay? I didn't, you didn't, she didn't, we didn't, they didn't. So that one does not change. I didn't study Spanish. I didn't. Okay. The question form, did she study Spanish? Did she? So you're changing the position of the subject and the form of do. This one, you know, I would say did and didn't and the do forms are can be very tricky for people. So um, really spending some time on practicing using that do auxiliary because um, you know, especially if you're a Spanish speaker, there's just no such thing. You you create a sentence in the same way that you create um, an affirmative statement, and you really just change the inflection of your voice. If you I, I, and I'm not sure about other languages. Um, I studied some in the past, but um, generally, um, this do do in the present tense, did in the past tense, and then don't and didn't, ah, you just have to practice it, okay? And then the WH question, when did they study Spanish? And that one, of course, needs a question mark. Okay, so we're going to practice this a little bit more in our next class. So class five, we will have on Tuesday, what is that? Tuesday the 11th? No, today's the 11th. Gosh, don't even ask me the date. Um, anyways, these are the two forms. Um, and what I'd like to do now is share the irregular past tense list. Actually, I just need a minute to find it. So go ahead while I'm looking for this. Let me see if I can quick find it. Um, yes, there it is. A1. Good, good. Okay. All right, this is a pretty long list, actually. It's got two pages. So when I put it here for you guys, I'd like for you to quick take a screenshot. And then I will also post it in our app. So if you don't get it here, let's see if I can get all of this on one page. Okay, um, so here's a very long list of um, irregular verbs in English, okay? So why don't you line that up good there, take a screenshot of that, and then down here. Okay, so what we're looking at is the base form of the verb, the simple past tense, and then the past participle. And when, let's see, when do we use that past participle, you guys? When we use the perfect tenses, okay? Um, so I... Um, I, here's the, a present tense. I am from Colombia. I was born in Colombia and I have been in Florida for 10 years. Okay. Have been, have been, that's where we use, that's that 
perfect tense. Okay, I have been. And then that's when you use the par participle. Okay. Um, let's see. So this one is kind of tricky too, and it's very, very common. So I um I come to work in my car. Yesterday I came to work on the bus, and I have come to work in my car every day for five weeks. Okay, I have come. So there are rules, but there are clearly a lot of exceptions. Okay, so let's, I'll just move that up so you guys can screenshot that. Okay, and then there is one more page here. Okay, let me just line that up for you guys. So again, the base form, the simple past, and then the past participle sleep, slept, slept, sit, sat, sat, swim, swam, swum. So some of them just don't even make sense and you really just have to practice them, okay? So what I want you guys to do is, um, I do want you to practice these words. Um, and um, when we come back on Tuesday, let's take a deeper look at some of these and work on these irregular verbs together. Um, and maybe, you know, just kind of take it chunk by chunk, meaning like, you know, take 10 of them, practice, 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 take the next 10, two days later, practice, 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 and just kind of, you know, you know, the way that we learn these things is like, as a native speaker, of course, you learn them just by what sounds right. But to be honest, many native English speakers, at least in the United States, make mistakes on these all the time, especially that past participle tense. Um, I mean, all the time, you know, you'll hear, I, I hear adults say them incorrectly all the time. So um, I want you guys to be better than the average uh, American. So please, please do um, take some time to practice these and we'll do some exercises and maybe a little quiz next week to make sure that you've gotten them. But it, this part really does require you to, you as the learner to do some work, okay? Remember teaching and learning is two ways. So um, there's me creating the space for you to learn and setting up the steps, um, but you are the one who has to do the work. And that is always how teaching is and how always how learning is. So learning is an active process. It's not only receptive, it's active. Um, so with that said, thank you all and have a wonderful day. And I will see you on Tuesday at 11 a.m. for the advanced class. Have a great week.